The engineering design process is the way for engineers to solve problems. The first step is to define the problem, brainstorm with a group or with friends. After you've done all your research, you start putting it together. Do you want to do the tours or just make a circle? Once you develop a couple ideas, you want to choose your best one. The best part, though, is making the model or the prototype. Then you test it and evaluate it. It might not all work at first. Like Thomas Edison, it took him how many times? You could like change it, go back. If it's good, then communicate results. And, and that's, that's the engineering, engineering design process. Do you think that your circuit is going to turn out perfect the first time? No. In a Project Lead the Way classroom, we can go through the design process and really teach concepts of how to create something. And that really prepares them if they choose to become an engineer later on in life. We'll put like a square on top of that bed. Today I'm going to be working on a pickup truck for 3D printing. We're going to extrude a hole and we're going to... Have an axle. We're working on a circuit. So we're adding gaps for the resistors. The battery is 0.25 inches for the holes. The students will have it fully ready for production, but we don't have all the equipment necessary to make what they have designed. Creativity, critical thinking, and collaboration, what the Fab Foundation and what Fab Labs are all about. In 2014, Chevron made a commitment to the Fab Foundation of $10 million to establish Fab Labs across the United States in areas that we have operations. A fab lab is the place where students and entrepreneurs come to imagine, to design, and then to make almost anything that they want. This fab lab was established in partnership with California State University Bakersfield, and it's the first of our planned fab labs. California State University is joining a global network of over 400 fab labs in more than 50 countries. My students are so excited to go to the fab lab to produce what they have created in the classroom. The Bakersfield Lab has a couple of laser cutters, a couple of 3D printers, a small NC milling machine. It's a whole suite of tools that allows you to make just about anything. Welcome to the Fab Lab. Have to be on a sensor. He made this all by himself. I've seen these projects come out that the students have worked so hard on has just been the greatest experience. It doesn't really work right now. <laughs> Not every design is coming out as anticipated. And so when you have to rework the project, the students really see the design process in action. It works. Yesterday, we thought of able to make a truck. Today, we have the truck in our hand. Guys, this is awesome! Without Chevron's support, it would be virtually impossible for us to offer this kind of technological and engineering program elective at our school. And now that Chevron has funded the Fab Lab, the public and students alike can really see engineering in action. Students are going to be able to really extend their knowledge and their understanding of what an engineering career would be like. By pulling in so many partners from universities to K through 12 education systems, we're helping to build a resource that will last well into the future. You heat up both your component and the copper. It's so cool making things and having them come to life. I could totally imagine myself working, doing this every day. You're doing things for yourself and like you're kind of helping others. It was this much fun every day and I would just love it. Fab Lab!